Tensions are rising over Taiwan as the political understandings that have contributed to peace for decades begin to unravel. These understandings begin to fray for a number of reasons. They're unraveling under the pressures of US-China competition as both Washington and Beijing take steps to show to the other their level of resolve over the Taiwan issue. And in that process, triggering even more anxieties on the other side. The U.S. is delivering its first military aid package to Taiwan in an effort to deter any possible future aggression from China. These understandings are also coming under the pressure of deepening differences across the strait between China and Taiwan. In recent years, we've seen Beijing take a much more demanding and aggressive posture in how it deals with Taiwan. Um, we've seen that Beijing has placed greater emphasis on its desire for unification with the island. Xi Jinping has made it a priority for Beijing, which hasn't ruled out the use of force. At the same time, in Taiwan, there is a strengthening Taiwanese identity that is detached from the mainland and increasing skepticism amongst the Taiwanese population of the Chinese political system. Mainstream opinion in Taiwan remains uninterested, opposed to unification, even as Beijing seeks it even more. The likelihood of a Chinese military offensive on Taiwan remains low in the near term, but it nevertheless remains the most likely trigger of a direct U.S.-China conflict, raising the prospect of a nuclear war and massive global economic and political consequences. Beijing should reduce its military activities around Taiwan and show flexibility around its political conditions for cross-strait dialogue. Washington should reduce the level of public shows of commitment to Taiwan. The next Taiwanese president should resume cross-strait dialogue and embrace more seriously an asymmetric defense strategy.